Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the International Farmer. Now, hello. How's everybody doing today? It is the 11th of April, 2022. I believe we have about 16 new mods to look at for cross-platform, along with three updates. Uh, so let's dive right into it. Today, my showcase is the Zetur 6277-45. This thing might be small. But man, does she sound beautiful. Wait till we fire this thing up. Uh, hooked up to it is also a Ferrara. Ferrara. Fer Ferrard? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Ferrard. Cultivator. It's very nice, too. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. All right, so first we have the Zetir 627745 by Smeddy. That's going to cost you $10,000. Zetter Baran. Uh, 59, between 59 and 81 horsepower. So it's small. But it gets the job done. Ah, I can't wait to fire it up. You're going to like it. It has a manual transmission, 55-liter fuel tank, 19 miles per hour, weighing 3.7 ton. Let's take a look at the custom Elzations. We got Trailborg with Standard. Standard 2. Wheel weights. Wheel weights 2. Rear twin wheels. Narrow tires. And back to Standard. Just keep in mind when you go narrow, <laughs> the fronts don't get narrow. I'm sorry. Well, they already are kind of, so, you know, take it as you please. All right, let's go back to standard. We also have Continental with standard, standard two, wheel weights, wheel weights two, rear twin wheels, narrow tires, back to standard. We also have Radestein with standard, standard two, wheel weights, wheel weights two, rear twin wheels, narrow tires, back to standard. We also have back trailboard, which means we've covered them all. We have a mud guard, a mud guard that says Zetor. Mm. We have big mud guards that are long and chubby. We also have a third option, which is just these right here. Hmm. Or we have one. I like the first one because it says Zator, and I like that. All right, we also have front fenders now. We got black fenders. None. Or chunky red ones. Oh, <laughs> yes. All right, on the hood, we have option one. Option two. Option three. Or none. You gotta have something on there. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right, series. We got the 2UR1, and that's the 2U92UR1. Uh, it gives you square little headlights with square ones up there. But if you go back to the old school, you have round ones, eh? So it's up to you if you lock round headlights or square ones. All right? It's up to you. I like the round ones. All right, exhaust. We have number one. Number two, you want a skinny one? <laughs> there you go. If you want a chubby one, then there you go. I mean, the option is really yours. It's up to you. All right, design. This is right over here. We got none. Now watch this. Oh, watch. This is really cool. We got Zetor. We got Zetor again. We got the Z, which I like. That's very nice. Or none. So you got three, four different options there. I like that. It's quite lovely, isn't it? All right, after that, we have a beacon option no. Or we can stick one on there. I mean, I like that there. Attachers. Standard. We have a 140 kilogram weight on the front. 350 or a three point connection. And we also have front loader attachment for a quickie. Power. Or none. Oh, very nice. Uh, engine setup. We got 59 horsepower. 66. 73. And finally, 81 horsepower turbo. Hmm. Uh, paint schemes, we got quite a few to select. Uh, you can paint it different colors. Same goes with the rims. Look at that chrome. <laughs> bling, bling. Chicka, chicka, bang, bang. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, but then you do have International Farmer. Well, that would be whatever you want to make that. I, I prefer International Farmer. That's just, you know, that's me. You can put that on the front or back left fender. There you go. That's my showcase of the day. And while we're at it, it's hooked up to the Perard Compasacum. Yeah, so that's a P, not an F. Perard. It's going to cost you 16450 bucks. It's made by Mr. Nico Do 55 We've heard that name many times. It requires 80 horsepower, and my tractor has 82, so it should be fine. <laughs> 1.8 ton weight, 6 meter work width, 8 miles per hour. It's a cultivator, prepared fields for the next seven. There is no customizations, but it is quite lovely. And it does have the wheels to keep it balanced and working properly. All right, let's get the heck in there and get it fired up. All right, wait till you listen. It. Listen, 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 listen. Uh 
Oh, I love it. I love the sound. It sounds so nice. Put the beacons on, high beams on, horn. Love the sound of this thing. Let's get this unfolded real quick. I've been meaning to clean this edge of the field for about two months now. <laughs> it's time to finally do it. What do you say? It's got a wide width on that uh, cultivator, too. Come on, lovely. Watch it not be able to pull it, even though we got the enough horsepower. Oh, no, she's doing good. Although it's not doing anything. <laughs> Alrighty then. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, don't watch this part of the video. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Well, moving on. <laughs> Let's just pretend that never happened. Yeah. Okay. Shut her down. I don't know why that didn't work. I don't know why that didn't work. Why didn't that work, honey? Huh? Honey, why didn't that work? Tell me. Oh, honey, don't know. Well, okay. Oh, I thought that might cultivate that. I guess not. All right, moving on. We're going to move on to the rest of the show today. We have a Tatra Phoenix by Smitty as well. Uh, same guy who made the uh, Zetter tractor we just took a look at. 110,000 horsepower. It's the Phoenix 6x6 Agro Truck. It's got 462 horsepower, manual transmission, 440 liter fuel tank, 49 miles per hour, weighing 10.8 ton. He's a heavy daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got Trailborg option with no option. We have Michelin with no option. We have BKT with no option. And Continental with no option. And back to Trailborg with no option. Okay, design. We have no. We have yes. Well, Lottie da look at that. I could put a big old rack on top of my truck. I could stick a few bales up there. What do you say? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Attacher standard. Okay, what just happened? Oh my goodness. Okay, I see what's happening. So you got a trailer and hatch. You got a front and rear. A standard. All right, what's a front and rear mean? What's that do? Oh, gives you a little thingy there. Yeah, I like that. Attachers front and rear. Engine setup, we have 462 horsepower. We got CVT transmission uh, back to manual, and that is it. Uh, main color. Lots of colors. Look at that. We can make it poopy brown. We give them some poopy wheels. And now we got the poop spreader. Yeah, hook up a big manure trailer to that and just get your poop on, I guess. Uh, license plate, front and center, and back left corner. Bada bing, bada schlingity ding, dang, boom, bang. All right, next up after that is going to be the Marshall BC-32 by E.T.A.L.A. Marquez. Mm. <laughs> A bale trailer is used to transport bales. It weighs 2.1 ton and what cost $11,000. All right. I like that. It's not auto, though. Dang it. It is nice, though. Uh, standard, back sideboard, or standard. Without toolbox or with a toolbox. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Wheel setup standard. Wide tires, standard, wide. We got main colors of blue, black, and poopy old dirty brown. Yeah. Uh, we do have license plates right here on the back and center. la di da shlippity doo da day. All right, up after that's going to be the Profi Line Single Axle. This is a slurry spreader with tanker needs an additional distributor, which it looks like it comes with the pack, maybe? Yeah, yeah right there, distributor. Um, this is by Landmensch, and it looks like there's five different pieces to this pack. So let's start with the Wien Huis, uh, right here. Requires 120 horsepower, 14,000 liters at a hold, 5.4 ton on the weight, 9 miles per hour. It could do digestate and slurry. It's going to cost you $54,050. The next one is going to require 100 horsepower, hauling the same amount, weighing the same tonnage. Oh, actually, it's 0.1 ton less. Uh, and then this one requires 180 horsepower. All three haul the same. What the heck, man? Uh, this one weighs a little more, 5.6 ton. Let's take a look at the biggest one here. Uh, we got Trailborg option wheel standard with steering axle 
or standard. Very nice. We got Vredestein as well. Michelin. Nokian with nursing tires. Normal. <laughs> Long care tires. Oh, I like that. Oh, very nice. And back to Trailborg. Uh, let's see. Design connection zero degree. Then we have connection with warning light. Connection 90 degree with warning light. And then back to zero degree. Uh, we do have a design standard work lights. And then wide work lights. So here's your standard. There's your wide. No, that's standard. That's wide. So they tilt outwards to give more lighting widely. Uh, attachers, we got standard and three-point long on the rear end there. Look at that. Main color, you can change that up to orange. We could do some blue. Design color, we could do black. And we also have rim color. Very nice. And then license plate, back left corner there. And that's pretty much going to be the same for these other ones, so we're not going to look at each one. Uh, but we do have the distributor, and this is a single axle distributor, 300 kilograms, 7 meter spread when you're working out in the fields with that slurry. And you can do it at 10 miles an hour. We got 7 meter, 9 meter, 11 meter. So you can go up to 11 meters with this spread. Uh, main color, again, we can paint it how we like. And there you go. So you would attach that to your slurry tank. Uh, right here is the gooseneck distributor at 200 kilogram an hour. <laughs> what did I say? It weighs 200 kilograms. Silly. Jeez, what's wrong with me? All right, red. And red. Red, red. Red, red. That's going to cost you $3,050. All right, very nice, very nice. Moving on. Series single offset disc by J.A. Modding. That's these bad boys here, John Deere brand. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, four options here. First one's going to require 115 horsepower at 5.7 ton with a 3.9 spread. We also have one at 170 horsepower, 5.7 ton with a 4.8 spread. This one's going to weigh 5.9 ton, requiring 220 horsepower with a 6 meter spread. And then finally, we got 6.5 meter spread at 6.2 ton, requiring 250 horsepower. There's your price changes. Each one's going to require more horsepower and cost more money. Except for this one. I think it costs 32000 Jeez. All of them are plows that can create new fields or just plow your land. Let's take a look at the big bad boy here. Very nice. Got this one. A little smaller. And you got this one. Little smaller. And then the smallest one. But very pricey. 32500 wonder if that was an accident. I feel like... This price should be here, this one should be here, and this one should be here. Maybe he messed it up, I don't know, but it looks nice. All right, next up after that's going to be, we already looked at the Tatra Phoenix, so now we will look at the Yunya Titan 6 Poop Spreader. Manure spreaders improve the harvest of your fields. You can fill it with some poop. Uh, 60 horsepower required. It can haul between 7,000 and 10,000 liters of poopy. 2.1 ton on the weight, 4 meter spread at 7 miles per hour. It's going to cost you $15,250, and it's made by Karas and Erek. A wreck. It's like he's an Erek. He's a wreck. He's a wreck. <laughs> uh, there's capacity 7,000, 8,500, and 10,000 with the boards up on the side. Uh, wheel standard, wide tires. Wide tires two, wide tires three, back to standard. Main color, we can change that up to whatever we want. Whatever we want, yes. Got different wood colors as well. Ooh, fancy. Rim color can be changed. Quite lovely, eh? Nice little pipe spreader for you. All right, up after that's going to be the Grimmy KS5400 by Mephis and Zuta. <clears throat> Excuse me. There it is. That is, before potatoes can be harvested, the foliage needs to be cut with a Harlem topper, like this one right here. It's going to cost you $23,000, requiring 107 horsepower, weighing 1.9 ton, with a 6-meter working width, which is quite nice. That's a good, nice working width right there. You can change the rim colors to black. That is the only customization. 
can pull it like a trailer, unhook, and then attach there and pull it this way. This wheel, I imagine, will turn like these. Pretty cool. Up after that's the Lizard Cultivator. This is by Puzzcap. Love that name. Shallow cultivators are used for shallow cultivation or seedbed creation of fields. It's going to cost you $30,850, 75 horsepower required, 465 kilogram weight, three meter working width at nine miles per hour operating speed. Uh, we have a roller no, or we have a roller yes. Main color, lots of dark ones. Yeah. Orange. And then you can change the color of your rollers and your little peggies. Right by peggies. We'll call them peggies today. There you go. Very nice. Up after that is the Lizard Tilling Set 2.1 by Kontzi. A cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing. It's going to cost you $1,500. 48 horsepower required, weighing 570 kilogram, 2.1 meter width at 9 miles per hour. Condition new. Now, this is cool. If you want it to look old, if you're doing role play or something, look at this. Old and crusty. <laughs> yeah. Like one you just sit out in the yard and you don't care about no mo. You feel me? All right, up after that is the Amazon ZGTS 10,000 and half. <laughs> 1,000 and half. I don't know. That's a big number. $85,000. This is made by FIB7. And it can hold 18,500 liters of seed. Or not seed. Oh, my goodness. Solid fertilizer or lime. Very nice. Weighs 4.0 ton, 42 meter work width at 11 miles per hour. There you go. Nice and slick looking there. We got Trailborg with standard, narrow, standard. We have Michelin with standard and narrow. Continental with standard and narrow. We also have Vetistein with standard and narrow. Back to Trailborg. We also have main color choices here. If you want to go, let's make it look like a new hall in one, eh? That's the best we can do, I suppose. There's a new hauling one. You can't change the Amazon color, though. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Then you got your license plate right there on the back end. Nice new spreader for you. All right. We are getting close. We got the Hardy Mega 2200 by Didac 96. Oh, my goodness. Sprayers increase the harvest output of fields. This is going to cost $35,000. It holds 2,200 liters and weighs 1.9 ton with a 24-meter work width operating at 10 miles per hour. You can put herbicide or liquid fertilizer inside that Mega 2200. Hardy brand, and we can put a license plate on the back bar in the center. Other than that, no other customizations, but a very nice sprayer. You like it, don't you? I know you'd like it. All right, let's move on and take a look at the placeables and updates for the day. All right, two maps to look at today also. My goodness, this day is just turning into excitement. <laughs> All right, first one's Krabak by Derjogi. All right, welcome to Krabak, a map born poorly. Purely, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> purely out of imagination. It is a small map where you can find work and relaxation at the same time on an old established farm. What awaits you on the map? There would be 20 fields, five meadows, various outlets and productions, a small BGA, a complete farm with animals, horses at the horse farm. Well, that's good. Uh, you also have, you can take water from the ponds, forests for the trees. Really? Hoppers among you are plentiful. We wish you a lot of fun with the map. Thank you very much, dear Jogi. Let's take a look at the screenshot, see what she looks like. A little messy there. I don't know about that. That's kind of messy. <laughs> I like it. Oh, look at that vegetation. Mm, beautiful. Oh, windmills. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice looking map. It looks nice. 20 fields. Looks like we can use some small equipment on it. I like it. I might check it out. I might not. All right, next up is the Goldcrest Valley 22 map. This is by Salabuki. Uh, welcome to Goldcrest Valley. This is a conversion of Goldcrest Valley base map from FS17. Woohoo! Map contains 33 fields, seven cell points, including train cell point, wood train cell point, five production buildings, a sawmill, six purchases as a ball, forest, and in new player mode. 
you get a pre-built farm with a cow barn, a sheep barn, a chicken barn, and machines. Oh, wow. Have a lot of fun. All right, let's check out the uh, pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 more. Yes, keep going. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's it. That's it right there. That's nice. Train. Love trains. Mm -hmm. Choo-choo. All right, so there you go. You got a couple maps there. Yeah. All right, next we have the biomass power plant. And this is by Vertex Design. The biomass power plant can be used to generate electricity, which will be sold directly. You can use wood chips or straw to generate electricity. Measurements are 36 by 18. Price is 160,000 with a daily upkeep of 150. Fill types is wood chips, straw, round bales and square bales oh yeah this is by vertex design let's check out the screenshots i eh? will don't we Ooh, i like that put a little front loader up through the ramp there come on maybe nice there you see there's the input output mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah very nice all right up after that we got three updates so let's take a look at them we got one for the bratna tr 3800 this is by Agrar Modding in the change log. He has the decal fixed and fixed capacity. So if you were using that, make sure you update it. Come on. All right. There you go. We also have an update to the sugar beet processing plant. This is also by Vertex Design. In the change log, activated occluder mesh in LOD system again. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds lovely. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Got an update to that as well. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool factory right there, actually. If you didn't know, uh, processes plant for sugar beets, cleans them first using fresh water, and separates stones and dirt. Afterwards, they're cut into pulp, which can be unloaded and used in other production facilities. The dirty excess water can be used as slurry. So you can even get slurry out of this bio boy. All right, next update is the 66 Decorative Objects Decorative Details Pack by Triangles Treble. In the change log, he's added 21 new items, more realistic pricing. Most objects are more expensive now. Uh, deactivated leveling for some objects, an adjusted icon and description to changes. How funny, says, yeah. So he has added some new stuff. Looks like we got a playground, a nice big... Uh, dumpster container uh even a placeable mahindra <laughs> very nice uh but yeah he added a lot more new stuff i use this pack so 21 more new things to add quite lovely mm -hmm. yes yes no yeah i think so mm -hmm. look at that that is cool brings your map to life if you're trying to make it feel the way you want it to all right la that's it that's it for updates and that is the end of the darn video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed everything we covered today. About 16 mods and like four updates. Something like that. Three updates. 16 mods and three updates. So go have fun. Enjoy yourselves now. All right? <laughs> Goodbye.